Hello, everyone. Welcome to my today's episode. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about the server monitoring. Recently, I found one of my favorite Linux server monitoring website has been down. No query. That's the one I've been using for years. It was、uh, working beautiful and completely meet my requirement. Unfortunately, the website has been down for ten days already. I always was wondering this kind of a、uh, free monitoring service, how long they can be existing. Previously, I even made a video to show how to using Heroku to hosting. A node query web page site, and I even have a GitHub repository for that. There's one button click to deploy it to the Heroku, but all are gone. They are not valid anymore. So I was starting to looking for other alternations. Net date seems they are very promising for this free monitoring service. As you can see, it should be feature rich and free to everyone. Net date cloud free. Unfortunately, I tried to sign up, but what I got is we are attempting to create your space. I have been waiting a couple days. It's never finished, so I let it go. Second one I was looking for is Grafana Labs. I register account for that. I got my dashboard. To me, it seems like a very complicated application. I haven't spent too much time on it. My requirement is very simple. I just want to monitoring some of my VPS in the cloud or some of on-prem Linux or Windows system. It's too complicated, and I don't want to spend that much time on it. I'm gonna pass it as well. So the next two of them is I'm looking for. One is from Datadog. One is from Instrumental. Those are. Looks working very well.、Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly add your server into either of those free cloud server monitoring service provider and monitor your server. Let's start it. First, let's look at both services free. Option. What's the limitation on there? Instrumental. Look at the pricing. There's a free option for the development, up to 500 metrics. Looks like a lot, but actually, for each system, at least you're gonna spend around 90, 93 metrics. So, which means it will. Be around five hosts for the free development package. Good thing is they can give you thirteen months of data visibility. That's very attracting to me as well. But one thing we need to know: Instrumental doesn't support ARM-based Linux machine. They don't have the package for that to install your agent for instrumental. That limitation can be lifted from Datadog. Datadog does support ARM-based system. They are supporting up to five hosts. Only thing looks not good is one-day magic retention for your free plan. But it's better than nothing. They only providing one day's data. If you want more, you have to go to pro version or enterprise version. 
we finished the review layer 3 packages. Let's go to configuration. You will need to sign up for both services. I already did that. So that's how I got my dashboard for each side. And I already added my host into each of them. I'm going to add another one to show you the process, how easy it can be done. I'm starting with instrumental website. Once you logged in, you shouldn't see any project created yet. So you will need to create a new organization. And then you need to create a new project for this organization. And just give you an example for here. Um, if you have AWS account, then you can connect to it. For me, I can just skip for it. Now they saying get started with instrumental. They give you a wizard step by step to onboarding your servers. To make it simple, I'm using servers. I'm not using Docker, MySQL, those applications yet. I'm just using one monitoring service. Next. So it's starting to create in dashboard. So there's uh, one dashboard created for graphics, created, configuration generated. Just copy this in. So I'm going to use um, CentOS 7 as an example here. It's generating a configuration file. Next. Copy in. Um, unfortunately, I copied the wrong one. This is CentOS, it's the different one. It's installing the dependencies. It's installed. Okay, we need to restart the service. So since the service is not started, so let's start the daemon process. Perfect. Now next, so we just waiting the instrumental D daemon to collect in the matrix and then send to cloud instrumental server. So it's waiting the server matrix. We don't have to wait. But we can now set up has been config completed. Right now it's empty. So we created OPC2 as organization and then OPC2 as our project. So we have four graphs, which that's what exactly we need. I want to know my servers, memory usage, disk usage, system load, and CPU usage. In the future, we can add it more once it's ready. If you want to change some configurations, you can see your project token, ID, those kind of things. Um, you also can remove the project if you don't need it anymore. So matrix stats, you see right now we have 11. Now we are getting some data right now. Um, how many matrix we have in? We are having 41. It will come more. Um, last time when I checked it, uh, I have 93 from OPC1. If you look at it, which I've been monitoring for a couple of days. So eventually, I believe OPC2 also will get the similar numbers as uh, OPC1. So this is an example for how to add your servers to be monitored by instrumental. Uh, for Datadog, it's uh, similar as what we done for the instrumental. We need to install agent.
So here you can go to integrations, agent, based on the OS system you are going to use, you need to choose the right OS release and get the command to do that. We are using ARM based uh, OS Arc 6.4 architecture, Ubuntu 20.04 this version. So basically we got Ubuntu. This is a one easy step installation. Just copy that. Go back here, just paste in. All related dependencies requirements will be installed automatically. As you can see, they are getting ARM 64 bit Datadog agent. It's 211 megabyte. So the uh, agent has been installed and that is running right now. It's functioning properly. So it will continue to run in the background and the submit the metrics to Datadog. Go back to the docs and we're going to check the infrastructure list. Previously, we, I have installed one already. This time, it should show a second one. It may take a couple minutes for all data sent over. So, as you can see, in the installation command, there's an API key and also the size associated with it. So that does tell the agent where to send those metrics data. If you have Windows, Debian, or any other Linux release, it will be similar function or even Heroku you can install this agent as well. Let's go back to our infrastructure list and take a quick look again. Now the Ubuntu 2 is showing up here. What we can get, we can use the first one as example to see what we can get from those metrics. We will see the CPU usage, memory usage, load average, memory, swap, disk usage, disk latency, and the network traffic. That's exactly what I need to monitor my servers. So that's all for today's video, which is to show how we can get some free server monitoring service to replace a died node query cloud service. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like my video, give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you for watching.